Hi, this is David Rosenberg for the Psychopharmacology Institute. And in this CAP, or Child and Adolescent Psychiatry Smart Take, we're going to take a look at a multi-center, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial of escitalopram in children and adolescents with generalized anxiety disorder. And this is really important because we know currently there are actually no FDA-approved medications for youth with anxiety disorders. Now, there have been some prior double-blind placebo-controlled trials suggesting SSRIs, including escitalopram, are effective in adolescents with generalized anxiety disorder, but there's limited information in pre-adolescent, prepubertal children with generalized anxiety disorder. And we also know that generalized anxiety disorder predicts future depression. At least a third of generalized anxiety disorder patients will suffer from major depressive disorder, and two-thirds will develop a major depressive disorder at some point during the course of their illness. So this is a really important area of study. And what Strawn and colleagues did was that they assessed children and adolescents 7 to 17 years of age with primary diagnoses of generalized anxiety disorder, treated with flexibly dosed escitalopram, 10 to 20 milligrams per day. And there were 138 pediatric patients with generalized anxiety disorder treated with medication versus placebo, of which there were 137 patients. So a large multi-center study. And these patients were treated for eight weeks. So what did they find? Well, first of all, escitalopram was significantly superior to placebo in reducing anxiety symptoms in children and adolescents with generalized anxiety disorder. And there were significant changes noted from baseline to week eight, with significantly more improvement noted in the escitalopram group as compared to the placebo group. The other nice part of this study was that the medication was very well tolerated and there were no significant differences in terms of discontinuation owing to adverse events between the placebo and medication group. I think another important point and one of the things that I like about escitalopram is it's by far the medication with the fewest drug-drug interactions so that in those patients with comorbidity, with medical and other psychiatric conditions, in many situations it may be safer than some of the other SSRIs where you can see more drug-drug interactions, particularly a medication like fluoxetine. So that is a very nice positive of escitalopram. And I think that what this medication does is that it confirms prior study showing escitalopram efficacy in adolescents, but now extends the safety, efficacy, and tolerability of adolescents as well into children 7 to 11 years of age. So a really key finding and a valuable aid to clinicians in the trenches. There were some limitations to the study. First, I should mention that this was an industry-funded study and several of the investigators had support from the sponsor. It is one of the largest prospective trials of an SSRI in pediatric patients with anxiety disorders, which is a huge advantage. But eight weeks is a relatively short time frame, and there are only two post-baseline efficacy measures. So that limits the ability to really examine specific domains of response, the functional form of the response. And I think more information could be provided in terms of comorbidity, given that generalized anxiety disorder in youth is such a highly comorbid illness. And so it would be important to know how comorbidity impacts response or lack thereof. Similarly, I think more information is needed on 
what kind of supportive therapy was used during the treatment, how that might impact response, given that there are prior studies, including one that I participated on, the TADS or Treatment of Adolescent Depression study in adolescents with depression, where we found that in adolescents with major depressive disorder, the most potent, most rapidly effective, and the most sustained effective treatment was combination therapy of cognitive behavioral therapy and antidepressant treatment. So that's another important area to study in youth with anxiety. And in fact, there is a National Institute of Mental Health funded study in youth with all kinds of anxiety disorders, including generalized anxiety disorder, but not limited to generalized anxiety disorder, which also found that the SSRI sertraline plus cognitive behavioral therapy was more effective than not only placebo, but cognitive behavior therapy alone or SSRI alone. So this is a important study that suggests that the SSRI escitalopram has a role in pediatric generalized anxiety disorder, that it has an efficacy signal that is superior to placebo, but incorporating it in terms of our armamentarium is going to be important in terms of how it can be used with cognitive behavioral therapy, what is its role in various comorbid conditions, and the attractiveness of its use in patients who are on other medications for other conditions, given its less frequent drug-drug interactions. I would also mention as an aside that SSRIs like escitalopram, in my experience, are much more likely, surprisingly perhaps, to have what I would refer to as an oh wow effect in anxiety disorders, such as generalized anxiety disorder, as compared to depression, whereas oftentimes the response can be more subtle. <music> 